This is Preddy, school librarian here today to share a book I just read, The Girl I Used to Be by April Henry. The book starts with an acknowledgement page to the author's mom. She says, this book is for my mom. I read the first few chapters to her. For many years, my mom was the only person who read what I wrote. Chapter one has a can't put down beginning. And it starts like this. The only sound I can hear is my own panicked breathing. I'm running flat out through the forest. Then my toe catches a root and suddenly I'm flying. I come down hard. I'm up again in a crazy scramble second, spitting out dirt and pine needles as I start sprinting again, running like my life depends on it because it does. I'm hurling through the woods, being chased by a killer, and no one knows I'm here. I can't hear my pursuer, just my own panting breathing. If I don't come back, will Duncan even know what's happened to me? These woods can hide things for years. My mouth is so dry, it tastes of dirt and the bitterness of fear. Legs churning, staggering over this uneven ground. I can't stop or I'll die. The reality is that I'm probably going to die anyway. And if that's so, I'm going to go down fighting. So she was only three when her parents were killed and she's the only survivor. But after their death, her life wasn't easy. Now, let's go back to the beginning. Whoever killed my parents must have tried to tell a story with what they left behind. Maybe they hid my dad's body so he wouldn't be blamed, and then left his car at the airport so it looked like he took off. But that story was a lie. There must be other ways the killer slipped up, made a mistake, screwed up details. Maybe I can figure out where they went wrong. There's something you need to understand. My name is Olivia Reinhardt now. Ariel Benson, that girl, doesn't exist anymore. But that doesn't mean she doesn't matter. That doesn't mean she doesn't deserve justice or that her parents don't deserve justice. And I'm the only one who can give it to her because I take a deep breath. My name is Ariel Benson and my parents are the other two people he killed. No one knows where I am and I'm not due at work until the day after tomorrow. If I don't show up, my manager and coworkers will probably just shrug, at least for a day or two. And just as I, the bird stops singing, something is coming, crashing through the underbrush. I'm no longer thinking. I'm not even sure what direction I'm running in. Now all I want to do is survive for a few more seconds. And that is The Girl I Used to Be by April Henry.